truth is not something that uh, just comes to you out of the blue. You have to uh, search for it. The way that the ne talk about truth, ni at eh, which is to say that is something that is real. You can sense it with your five senses and the four invisible senses. It's there. That's the way you acquire it. Sometimes you may not like it, but nonetheless it is that it is true. The other thing about tot eh, it means it might seem like it is true, but it is not true. That's the ways of error. There is truth and there is error. When you find truth, you have to be willing to sacrifice pride. <laughs> In learning the uh, traditional stories of our people, the Dene, there's uh, the coyote stories, and then there's the stories of uh, what they call the uh, the coming into existence, the emergence. Hajine. When I was uh, very young, I had the opportunity to learn from the very elderly, and the way that they did that, I look back on it, is they would tell me the story, and then I would have to repeat it back to them. And then they would take the opportunity to tell me to share this information with somebody, and they would be listening to my telling other people the uh, story that they had shared with me about a coyote story or about the uh, hajine, and uh, they would listen to me. Sometimes afterwards they would say, you forgot to mention this particular part. And so the teachings that I learned, uh, uh, as far as the coyote stories and that, is uh, a lot of it is based on truth and error. In our language, they say ta ni eh, that's truth. Ta eh, that's the uh, what seems like the truth, but it is not truth. And so there's these two: the truth and the untrue. And so it is also the same thing with the um, stories of the. Um, coming to life and the uh, hajine or the uh, emergent story of uh, such char characters as the two boys that went to uh, visit their father. And that one portion of the story is that uh, the boys are asking for direction as to what path they should take as they journey to, uh, to their father. Somehow they are told there's a place where you're going to come to a fork in the road. Don't take this one, take that one. And the other one is, uh, the, the two paths are the true path, and the other path is not the true path. And so when they arrive at that fork, they get confused, and they say, which was it that they were, we were supposed to take? And so they guess that they should take this one, and they get on that road, or on that path. And as they journey on that path, they begin to get old. They look at each other, and their hair is turning white, and they're developing wrinkles, and their joints are hurting and aching. And they said, we have gone the wrong path. We have gone on the old age road. Let's turn around and go back. And so they turn around and they go back to the junction. And then they take the correct path. We learn from that that age is something that we all will experience eventually. But if we just age without making the attempts to find truth and to seek truth, that uh, we come up empty. It's a lifelong thing to find truth and to search for truth, to pray for truth. So the stories that I was told in many cases is that there is truth and then there is error. And all of the coyote stories is the truth and the, the errors that the uh, coyote does. And then in the stories of the emergence, all of the different uh, events in that people have to determine truth. And so the idea of us experiencing our search for truth is very important. The way that we are told is that uh, Truth is not something that just comes to you out of the blue. You have to uh, search for it. In this case, you have to study. And then, of course, you would have to pray about it in many cases. And I remember so many of my relatives, they would say, you know, you know, pray for it. Pray for learning the truth. If you understand and you've been given something, pray about it. Is what they say. There are so many things that can confuse us in life. We can take the wrong road, the wrong path, and um, there are ways to, to do things uh, in this world. You can't have uh, truth if you go ahead and you go places where there are no truth. You can't go over there and expect to find truth where there is none. And it is that uh, you can't build your life on uh, things that are not working for you, that are robbing you. These are things that are not true. They will rob you of your joy and your happiness, your confidence and peace. These are things that are not true. And so the idea of uh, acquiring truth 
It's a spiritual thing. You have to pray about it. You have to prepare yourself spiritually. I know that when you go into a sweat lodge, you're supposed to prepare yourself spiritually to be sitting among the grandfathers and think about the things that, that could be true and that you want to know. You have to verify truth some way. And the best way to do it is to prepare yourself to receive that spiritual truth. And when it becomes a spiritual truth that you understand it, and then you can apply it in your life. You're going to always have people that will laugh at you, they will scoff at you, and they will ridicule you. You're searching for truth. Even your own relatives and people that you think are concerned about you. When you really start to look for truth and find truth that you can apply in your life, there are people that will get in your pathway, and they will uh, ridicule you, make fun of you, and laugh at you. And it's just like um, learning the Navajo language. I won't know that uh, some of the young people say, I try to talk Navajo, but I can't say the things correctly. People laugh at me, so I'm not going to learn Navajo. And that's not a very good thing to do, And it is that uh, you have to do things. Uh, when you find truth and do the true things, that you have to be able to be willing to sacrifice pride, and you've got to be able to will, uh, willingly sacrifice a lot of the things that you do that are wrong. And uh, to do it with the, the idea that, but cut the hotels in, or pray for it ask for it. These, these are the things that I was told when I was trying to understand the uh, coyote stories and the emergent stories and even the ceremonies and that, that are conducted. There's always these things that are based on the idea of us finding truth. is that you shall seek truth. There's things that look true but they are destructive and they will not help you and those are the things that we are told. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. I can't.